welcome back to our third week of Art Space Online. I'm Lydia. Thank you all for being here. I hope you're all doing really well this week. Um, I'm really excited for our activity because we are going to be playing with color and we're about to get a little bit messy. Two of my favorite things. We are making homemade translucent paper. So if you watched the lesson from last week, you may remember that translucent items are items that allow some light to come through, but you really can't see what's happening on the other side. And that's as opposed to transparent items like a window where you can completely see through it. So translucent items are things like the stained glass in this building. Oh my gosh, look at how beautiful that is. Could you imagine standing in there? So when the sun rises in the morning, the light shines through those windows and just bathes the room in color and pattern. Be like you're in a kaleidoscope. Life goals, making it to that mosque in Iran. All right, so let's get started. The materials that you're gonna need for this uh, activity this week, first of all, very important one, is some sort of covering for your work surface. Um, I'm just using an old garbage bag. A bag from the grocery store would work fine too. Plastic is great because it won't allow our color to seep through it. Um, it will stain the surface below. So please, please, please cover your work surface with some sort of plastic before you get started. Um, you're also going to need some white glue, some food coloring. I got this from HEB. You can get it anywhere that sells food really. Um, an extra cup of water, some small cups of some sort. I'm using these little caps and these work just fine. Any sort of cup will do for this. You're going to need an extra cup that is just for art. Please don't grab a cup from the cabinet or anything like that. Um, a paintbrush and paper towels. Any sort of paper towels will do just fine. You're also going to need some plastic tops like this, or even a Ziploc bag will work just fine. Or saran wrap, anything that has a slick, smooth plastic surface to it is what you're going to need here. And then another optional item is other translucent or transparent items from around the house. This is just a bag tissue paper, and I even have some blue cellophane. These can just be fun to incorporate into your translucent paper. Uh, but we are going to be making most of our paper here, messing around with color, which is the fun part. So to get started, I'm going to be mixing up my colors in these little caps. So let's see. We really don't need a whole lot. I'm going to put three drops of color in each of these. And you can use the colors out of the bottles, or usually it comes with the primary colors, plus green. You can always mix up other secondary colors if you like. And I just noticed how wonderfully this worked out that my colors almost match my tops. Nice. So once I add my food coloring, I'm going to mix it with a little bit of water. All right. And I'm going to need one of these tops so it doesn't get too messy, but this is in case we spill here. And here comes the paper towel. So I'm going to use about half of this paper towel for each of mine. And you can do this process a couple of different ways. What we're trying to do is basically add color to our paper towel. So one fun thing that you can do is if you've ever tie-dyed, you can get some tie-dye effects with these. So the most traditional tie-dye pattern is grabbing a chunk in the center and then tightly twisting the rest of the paper towel around it so it kind of looks like a cinnamon roll. And from here I can just dip into the color, squeeze out some excess. 
Um, let's see. Ooh, there we go. We get some nice mixing. So you can also add your color to this surface here. Some yellow. Let's go for some green in there. And blue. And give this one, this is an accordion fold, folding back and forth. Tends to give us a pretty neat dye pattern. So the other option is if you have spray bottles at home, um, you can add these colors into a spray bottle and spritz your paper towel. I didn't have any spray bottles at home, so I kind of came up with this other technique that works just fine. And now I'm just going to add the color this way. A little bit more yellow. And if you spill onto the table, you just use this to wipe it up. And I have so much fun with this that I just kept wanting to make more. So you can make as many of these as you like, and then you'll have lots of options when it comes to putting your translucent paper together. All right, so I'll just make two for now and see what they look like. That's a fun one. Oh yes, there's that tie-dye pattern. <laughs> All right, so these are gonna go sit to dry. If you put them in the sun, they dry really quickly in about five minutes. Um, or you can just set them in the house and they'll dry fairly quickly. Right. But I have some that I made earlier here. These are completely dry out in the sun. So when you get them, most paper towel is two ply, meaning that it has two sort of surfaces that are glued together. And to increase our translucency, it's best to peel those apart. Not all paper towel is built like this. It's pretty obvious if it is. You can see the edges start to come apart after they're dry. If it doesn't feel easy to peel them apart like this, then it'll work just fine without. But I even have more to work with. All right, so now comes building our translucent paper. So I can do this on my Ziploc bag, or I can do it on any of these slick surfaces. I think I'll try it on the Ziploc bag this time. So I'm going to mix up some glue in here. I am adding about a tablespoon of glue. If you want to measure it out, you can, because we're going to be watering this down with water. But basically, if I added about a capful of glue, I would want to add two capfuls of water to just thin it out a little bit. But it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it here. So I added probably about a capful, maybe one and a half capfuls here, and I'm going to add water to that and mix it together so glue dries clear or translucent either way but this is gonna add some more translucency to it and make it just a little bit easier to work with for this activity so I'm gonna start by painting on this glue. Getting a pretty good layer down at the bottom. All right, now I get to add my color. So I'm gonna rip these into sort of smaller bits and just add them to my surface. And we're gonna be really 
generous with this glue mixture because we want everything to stick together at the end. So I'm just gonna add that over. It dries clear anyway, so I'm not too worried about how much I'm gonna be using. So overlapping is great. You can overlap as much as you want to add some depth to that translucency. I'm also going to experiment with some of this. So maybe there we go. Some of this uh, other items that I have here. A little bit of that there. Maybe I'll add some of this plastic bag. So this will allow a lot of light to come through, which could be kind of interesting with my colors. about done. So now I'm gonna let this dry. This will take a little longer to dry. I recommend letting it dry overnight. You can put it in the sun to speed up the process a little bit, but overall just to wait and let it dry. And I have one that I've already made. So after it's completely dry, it will then peel off the surface and you're left with your nice translucent paper. There's one using that plastic bag too. I really kind of liked those arrows incorporating it in. So these can hang in your windows for a stained glass effect, bathing in that colored light in the mornings. I hope you have as much fun with this as I did. Okay, and we'll see you on Friday. I can't wait to see what you've made.